Welcome, bienvenidos. This is Roxana from Metamorphosis Rocks, Aviptiva, Reactions 1321, and Metamorphosis Rose en Español. This video is not the usual video. This video is for the exclusive purpose of a GoFundMe campaign that we started this week. And the reason or purpose or whatever you want to call it for this video is to give you a little explanation of what's going on and why I decided what I decided. Now, for those of you who don't know, I was diagnosed with an ailment called IBS, and in my case, it's IBSD. On, I want to say it was October 2013, I believe. And the reason why I'm having a hard time remembering is because there was a gallbladder issue associated with it. And one thing they don't tell you when you have your gallbladder removed, the IBS, if it might get worse. Anyway, I've been living with that condition since then. There have been moments when I've been okay and there have been moments when I have not. And to give you a perfect example, the reason why I'm not all dolled up and dressed up and to the nines is because I literally have spent the last 24 hours pretty much in and out of the bathroom. And I was going to get all dolled up for this particular video. And then I decided, no, I want them to see the reality. And I want them to understand why I made the decisions that I've made. Now, when my dad passed away in 2016, I considered starting a business. And life got in a way, in a real big way. And if you know my family, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into details. Bottom line is, uh, other things took more importance than starting a business. But I did start a YouTube channel and I'm very proud of my 15, 1800 subscribers on that channel. I do have three other channels, three in English and one in Spanish. And this video is going to be made in Spanish for the Spanish channel because I intend to post this video on all three English channels. And of course, the Spanish version in the Spanish channel. Anyway, going back to the situation, I... I'm going to leave that there because what ended up happening is I cannot, as much as I would like to, spend eight hours anywhere without probably going home for periods of time. And if you know the state of Florida, you know that if you so much as breathe out of place, you can get fired. So I'm not going to go that route. I already tried it couple times it didn't work out i am however for the last i want to say five years i have been looking on and off for work and last year i was lucky enough to find a project where i could work from home it was great because if i got sick in the middle of working i would just go take care of business however long it took and then i would just come sit back down and work for another hour two hours or whatever Unfortunately, it is not a reliable, sustainable income. So I need to find other sources to complement that income. And plus, at this particular point in time, this close to rent day, it turns out that it's a little, there's a little lull in, in the projects. So I don't have, uh, I don't, I have a low income, very low income for the last three or four weeks. So what does that mean? I started looking for work again very quickly. And to give you an example, in the last 48 hours, my daughter and I have applied between applications that we filled out. We filled out about 35 uh, job applications. I've taken so far three tests. I have to take four more tests today for so similar types of jobs where I can stay at home and do my thing. I have even applied for part-time jobs outside of the home when I know damn well that that might not work for me because of the medical situation. And the more I thought about it, the more I kept thinking, you know, you're never going to be this young again. So you might as well give it a shot. And that's why we decided that we were going to start a business all over again. Now, some people have asked me, why are you doing the GoFundMe for $500 only? I'm about to go through all the expenses and all the charges and all the things that we want to do, but I wanted to make the point that I am very much aware that you don't start a business with $500.
you have to remember that I'm still working for the project that I was mentioning before that I'm hoping to get a couple more projects to level it out on, at least until I find clients. And there are certain things that I already own that make it a little easier for me to start a business from home. For example, I am recording on the computer that I use for the projects. I have a Mac. I have an iPhone, which is what we in this house known as the business phone. And this is where I film where I'm on the go and whatnot. I can film for myself or for clients. We have a camera. It's not a new camera, but we have a camera that we can use for taking still shots and whatnot. I do have a GoPro. I don't have a, um, a Hilo, but I do have a, I know that's not what you're called, but you know what I'm trying to say. I do have a GoPro that I can use to film as well. Now, I do have a separate phone, which is what we know in this house as the home phone, and that's a Pixel phone. And you might be wondering, why are you considering using the Pixel phone? Well, because I've taken both photo and video on both, and there are instances where the Pixel phone gets better video and better pictures than the iPhone. So usually, if you see me out there, you're going to see me with both. You're going to see me taking pictures and video with both. Now... The strong suit here in terms of work is writing. I'm very good at writing. I am not that talented yet at SEO. I'm working on it, but I'm very good at writing. So I can create the post. You can give me the pictures. I can create the post, that sort of thing. If you don't want to do any of that, I can still do it for you because I've been doing it for myself. Now I have a very small audience. And we do, we are all aware of the fact that thanks to certain changes that have happened in social media lately, the, it's a little harder to get in touch with the algorithm, if you want to put it that way, but it is possible. And more important, if you are not concentrating on at least one or two at the same time, or you don't have a presence having a presence that is a decent presence. And what I mean by that is you're actually giving information. You're taking good pictures. You are not just posting for the heck of posting. Now that doesn't mean you don't have personalized posts that you should add to your account. What I'm saying is that if you're a business, you're giving a certain presence. It's not about the engagement right now. It's about establishing a presence. If you've never had an account before, or if you're moving to a different, like I am, I'm moving into a different aspect of my life. So I'm changing what I show on everywhere. And so that is my forte. Now I am very good at telling people what they're doing wrong. Even if I don't do it myself, I have always been good at that. Believe me when I was in college, I used to take the notes that everybody would get A's with and I would get a C on my test. Don't ask, it's a long story. But the bottom line is this. I do have a small business that I'm creating. Since I can't remember where I was because the maintenance people showed up, I don't know where I was. I'm going to try to piece this out as best as I can. So the bottom line is this. We have a situation where we have some of the equipment. We don't have all of the equipment. And we are trying to provide a service for startups or small businesses that don't have the actual money to pay somebody to handle their social media. We can have a conversation and help them out. One or two social medias is all they need. They don't need to have a presence. I mean, I would still get my name or the name of the business on all the social media platforms, but I would just start with two if that much, depending on the business. So that is the idea of what we have for other businesses. For myself, I am going to keep spending time on the channels. I am slowly moving what I'm doing with the channels. In the case of the commentary channel, I'm moving towards more of, you know, cultural and I'm not going to stop talking about celebrities. It is what it is. But I've come to this space where I don't want to talk about the same thing everybody else is talking about necessarily, but I still want to comment. There are two other channels. One has to do with books and movies and things like that and reactions and whatnot. And the other one is a lifestyle for Gen X 
we're not getting any younger, okay? But we're having a lot of fun. And so that's something that I want to talk about. Now, going back to the $500. Why did I say $500? Well, number one, like I told you, I have the equipment. Number two, and this is important, is that I only need a couple of things to take this to the next level in terms of how I work from home. There is a desk that you're probably seeing on the screen right now. This desk is, um, it goes up and down so I can use it as a desk sitting down or standing up. More importantly, it has wheels on the bottom so I can take it to the bedroom when I can't get out of bed because yes, there are days, there are days when I cannot get out of bed. Yes, I can walk three to four miles a day. I'm really getting back on track on that. That doesn't mean that the rest of the day I can work like a normal person. Anyway, that desk is something really important. The other thing that is really important for us to have is microphones for the phones. When I'm outside, if I find somebody that I want to interview, I would like to be able to just hook something on their lapel or on their shirt and the sound quality is there. Avoid all the noise and the rumble. Right now, I don't have that choice. And that is really important for this business. Now, clearly, I'm showing you the cheap version and the expensive version of both. As far as the desk, I already have it from a good source that the cheap version is perfect. It doesn't, I don't need the expensive version. With the microphone, it depends on what I get on the GoFundMe. I will consider which microphone I'm going to do. I have good and bad on both sides, so I have to check that out. The third reason why I'm asking for $500 is because this time around, I want the business registered with everything set up already. And both the registering the business, the insurance for the first couple months and the liability insurance and the other things that I need for the business itself is about $300. So when you add the $300 to the $130 for the desk and whatever I end up spending on the microphones, that's the first $500. Now, if I make it over $500, I can start covering some of the other expenses that I am going to show you later in a different video. This video was just to let you know what's going on and why. We did it the way we did it. We do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.